company valued at more than $1 billion headquartered in Detroit will be bringing people to Campus Marshes today. StockX will be registering people for a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. It's a name many people have heard before. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live at Campus Marshes this morning. So, Matt, some people say StockX is a sneaker business, but it's also been called a tech company. So which one is it? Honestly, you have to say that it's both. We're talking about a $6 billion estimated industry by 2025. And the folks here at StockX, they're cornering the market and bringing all the workers to Michigan to make this company come off the ground. You don't have to have a Silicon Valley zip code to build a great tech company. But we have access to great talent, great people. Talking with StockX CEO Scott Cutler, it's obvious this is a different company. From his streetwear down to his Nike off-whites, and just down the road, this factory, their authentication center, it's where the real magic is happening. Shoes come in from all over, set to be authenticated before final sales. It's consignment shopping, but on steroids, and sneakers are a hot commodity. Heck, right now you can find a pair like these. These Air Yeezy One Blinks, they're selling for more than $3,000. Sales like that in volume, like we see here, is why the Detroit company is now considered a billion-dollar company. Is still a battle that... A billion dollars for shoes? <laughs> How's that conversation go regularly? Yeah, but as a, you have to appreciate that as a as a technology company, you know the, the the notion of coming to our site, having the opportunity to indicate what you're willing to buy this for, and then we provide that pricing information, that transparency, quality of materials, shape of the shoe, down to more specific things like font on the inside, size label. Authenticating this pair of Yeezy 350s, Cameron Lamberti shows me why his role is such a big deal. The longer shoes on the market, the better the fakes become. He has to check roughly 30 things to ensure these are the real deal. They're so good at it, people even try to fake their authentication tags. Other people use that to try to make their money off fakes. A good reminder that this is all about the commodities, but also the tech that makes it run. That's why workers went from folding tables and cell phones to high-tech workstations. We can't even show you all of this center because they have trade secrets. And Cutler says there's more to come. You have this opportunity to offer more products than anybody else can. So, Matt, how big is StockX now, and how does it grow? We heard they just got that billion-dollar valuation as a company. Now they're moving into things like jewelry, streetwear, other types of items that carry high value. Really, it's an investor's market. And how big are they? Well, they're actually getting ready to overhaul Campus Marshes today because they're signing people up for that three-on-three -three tournament they're sponsoring this weekend here in Detroit. Yeah, the biggest stuff is yet to come. Yeah, it's fascinating to watch this really take off. Thank you so much, Matt, for that live report.